Welcome to our tutorial about the VBA user interface. The Visual Basic Editor has a standard Windows look, feel, and behavior. At the top of the window, we have the main drop down menus. Underneath are tool icons. If you right click, you can open the Debug, Edit, Standard, and User Form toolbars. You can also access the Customize dialog window with a right click. Here we've got tabs for customizing toolbars, commands, and additional options. From here we can grab, drag, and drop commands onto the toolbars if we need to. We can select large icons, show screen tips on the toolbars, display the shortcut keys, and so on. Next here we've got the Project Explorer window in the upper left pane. All the items we're working on are shown here, such as forms, modules, class modules, etc. At the top of the Project Explorer window, we have three command icons, View Code, View Object, and the Toggle folder, which hides the folder but still shows the objects in our project. In the center area, we have what's called the Project Container window. Here's a form and the toolbox, which contains a number of controls that can simply be dragged and dropped in the form window. Controls can be positioned and resized. Every control and every form have a number of properties which are listed in the lower left pane, the Properties window. From this interface, you can change the properties of any selected object. If you've selected more than one control, for example, only the common properties of those controls will be shown. We can also view properties by category as well. Using this drop-down menu, we can select which properties to make visible on each item in the Properties window. Now let's talk about the Coder window, or the Module window, which can be accessed by a double-click on a control or the form, or by using the View Code button, as we discussed previously. We can select views, either Procedural or Full Code View. On the right is a list of available events. We can split the window and scroll code in the panels independently. To close the split, simply double click on the split line. Down below, we've got what's called the immediate window. Here, we execute statements directly, test statements, and debug code. For example, if I want to test what the sum of 1 plus 1 is, I will type it in right here and I get my immediate answer, too. What a surprise! Now, if you're not able to see the immediate window, select View from the main menu and select Immediate Window, Shortcut, Control g There's also a couple more windows, the Locals window and the Watch window. We'll be looking at these windows later on. Visual Basic uses the concepts of Design Time and Run Time. Right now, we're in Design Time. When I hit the Run button, looks like a Play button, we're in Run Time, that is, live. We can return to Design Time simply by closing the running window. Or you can press the Stop button next to the Run button. And this concludes our tutorial about the user interface in VBA.